Hello, my name is Tommy Shaw. On today's channel, what I'll be doing is going over should we be worried about a cashless society? So first of all, what are the rumors, okay? A lot of people are saying that right now we're moving towards a cashless society, okay? All becomes equity would be always available, okay? First of all, the thing that they want to do is to give access to all the equity that you have and you could always spend it, okay? Say your TV is an asset, it would go directly in your balance sheet and it would show up as credit. Something that you could use to spend that money, okay? You have to think about this. Everything you own has value. So the goal of this cashless society is to make everything accessible because when you have a house that's worth something, your car is worth something, if you pay it down faster and it's still worth $16,000, well, you could have access to that money and spend it and put it into the economy, okay? So uh, your, your network would fluctuate every day, so your credit would fluctuate every day. When you go to work, it would go into your bank account. If your assets gain value, you'd have more equity, you'd have more credit, you'd be able to spend more and put it back out there, okay? So how are we going to, like if we are becoming a cashless society, how, how is it going to happen? Well, many rumors, like we're already with debit, credit, and some rumors are digital currencies. Maybe GP Morgan is going to create a currency that would fluctuate with the currencies that's already in the US. And why, okay? Why is the goal of this? It's, it's, it's to increase spending. If government could track all, okay, first of all, who is it gonna hurt, okay? Who is it going to hurt and who is going to benefit from that, okay? We already know that the government is going to benefit from this because they'll be able to track all expensive, everything you bought, everything you sold. It, you're, they're going to be able to see everything. So the governments can track all transactions. Who gets hurt? Well, who do you think gets hurt in this? It's going to be the person with not a lot of money. Not a lot of money or medium class because who goes around with a hundred thousand dollars if you're rich you're not going to carry money on you because if you want to buy something everything costs two hundred dollars and more so when you have money uh, or you have a lot of equity you're not going to carry around a lot of money but the people who get hurt are the people who go on the side they buy something and if you, don't, if you sell something and you don't want to pay taxes on that, well, you're going to get hurt because if everything counts as money, tips, whatever, everybody's going to see everything. So that's the way to increase GDP, but also to increase taxes on the, uh, the lower income and middle class. So should we be worried about a cashless society? Okay, a cashless society, there are, of course, some good points about this because if if the government doesn't have to print that money anymore it'll be it costs less to print money to put it out into circulation so we'll be saving some money on that side and another thing is it's a lot quicker when you have a society that can transact very quickly well it speeds things up so we're moving towards evolution so we want things to go faster just like the Tesla or the self-driving car if you have a self-driving car that can operate himself no there's nobody going to be waiting at the red lights it's just going to be cars going one after the other one and it's all going to be synchronized so it's the same thing with the cashless society is that everything is going to be synchronized it's always always going to be attached to the grid or to the big system and everything is going to be speed up. It's going to be a lot faster. All right. So the rumors, let's go over just what I said. The rumors is that all the assets that you own, everything would be accessible right now for you to spend. You buy that TV, you pay it cash. Well, it becomes an asset. You can borrow against that TV, television set, and you can go out there and spend it again. And whatever you buy cash, you could turn it around and essentially have money always accessible. Everything would fluctuate with the market. It'd be a smart market. You could see uh, somebody's house is sold next to yours, $300,000. Your house was 250 and now went up to $300,000. So you just added 50, 
thousand points of credit accessible with this cashless society. Now, how are we, how are we going to do this? It's going to be something that's smart, a, a digital currency. Uh, it could be through your debit, your credit, or a total new currency that will be able to track everything. Or you will have a face value on a dollar, it's going to be paper or something like that. It's going to be something that's smart and you could see the value fluctuate in time. Why? Increase spending, accelerate the whole system. Governments could track all transactions. There'll be less hitting parts of the economy and everything would be on paper. Not on paper, but on a digital screen. Who gets hurt? Of course, the lower and middle class. It's kind of sad because they, they're the ones who need it the most. And hopefully there will be a system that is going to favor the person that has less money to go towards that system so that everybody has an equal share of this. Who wins? Governments win and people who know how to take advantage of a certain arbitrage in the system and are able to make a spread. All right, that's it for today. If you like this kind of information, please leave a like, uh, a like and subscribe. Remember, I'll be seeing you on the next video. Thank you.